Right, here we've got another um, black and white copy of a picture of a design we found on the internet. Um, this was, however, in color. So when I printed it out, you can see that the certain areas that are around it where the color was lighter than maybe the color in the middle. The middle was a dark blue color, and the outside was like a lilac. So you can see the outer perimeter is more gray than it is black. But the darker the color in the middle, the darker the actual black image was. So what happens is you have lots of little dots and because it is darker, the blue, you tend to get lots more dots and it makes the density of the toner darker. I'll, I'll bring this a little closer so you can see what happens when um, the color isn't dense black. So here's a good example of... of uh, doing a black and white print from a color image. Now you can see the the floral arrangement around the outside, the leaves and the the ribbon etc. That is more gray than it is black. The little dots that you can see there, there's lots of little dots but they spread further apart than the little dots on Merry Christmas. So that's what makes it lighter and darker. The density of the dots compacted in that small area. Now, as I said, the Merry Christmas was a dark blue, so that's closer to black than it is with the lilac. So that's why you're getting a more dense uh, toner print in the center and a light, more grayish print around the outside. Now, if you look at a print that was printed from black, that is now completely black. And that's the difference. You know, you're printing a black image from black, you're going to get a solid, dense, intense black toner coverage. So that's going to give you an excellent print when you run it through there. We will run the Merry Christmas through, however, just to have a look at what you're going to, results you're going to get from that. Um, it shouldn't be too bad, but ideally, if you can, and you want top quality, you want to be able to, to, to produce toner print image quality like you see uh, the copper fox we'll run some tests with foil and then I'll show you what happens right, so we've run through the Merry Christmas design using some red foil through our foil fuser and looking at this design we've achieved a very good result indeed you know we we had a print image around the outer perimeter being the ribbon and the the leaves which was grayish and then obviously the Merry Christmas was darker than the outer perimeter. But even so, we've managed to achieve a very good print result. Which tells me that even though you may have a printed image that is slightly gray as opposed to pitch black, you still can achieve very good print results. Now obviously if you go the other way where you have very light and very light gray um, print images, the chances of you getting this kind of result are going to be minimal because you don't have much toner there for the foil to stick to. Um, to play safe, if you want the best results, always go as black as you can with your toner. Then you know there's no chance of little holes popping up because there isn't sufficient toner down. The blacker the better, but obviously judging from this, a decent gray coating of toner will still give us a good result.